Hey guys, I'm doing a video today about um, my experience with ECT and memory loss. I get tons of questions all the time, but I would say about 80 to 85% of them are about the side effect of memory loss, and which is completely understandable. I would say that was probably my biggest fear um, going into the treatment. And so I wanted to talk about kind of my experience and what happened and what has happened over the last 18 months. And um, as of this point right now, I am not experiencing memory loss at all. And I'll kind of go into that more. But um, I wanted to talk about kind of at the beginning and for the first few months and what happened. And yeah, just kind of give you an idea of like uh, what this, uh, what, what, what happened to me. Um, so when I first began ECT, I was really scared for lots of different reasons. I mean, there's a lot of reasons when you first hear about it to feel scared. Um, I would never fault anyone for feeling that way because I definitely felt that way. Um, the thing that I was the most scared of though was definitely the fact that memory loss, memory loss could occur. Um, I was afraid of losing memories, like significant childhood memories or just memories from the recent past. I was afraid that I would forget how to get places um, and just different, just different ideas like that. And that was, that was terrifying. Um, but when I kind of weighed the con, the pros and cons of um, ECT, while the memory loss did fall on the con list, it it wasn't gonna deter me from doing this this treatment because the fact is, I was so depressed, so, so depressed, and just life wasn't anything. And if memory loss was gonna happen, honestly, it was gonna be worth it because I was feeling so, so terrible. And that's that was just my opinion on it that's how i felt i i didn't want to live that way anymore and if i was going to lose some memories and forget how to get somewhere if that was the case you know what that was fine because i was tired of feeling so so down so um i went into the treatment um beginning with unilateral which is where they um apply energy to one side of the brain to induce the seizure I did that for about a month and didn't see any improvement as far as my mood or how I was feeling. And so uh, I talked to the doctor about it and he said, well, um, have you experienced any memory loss? And I said, no, not, not anything. I'm not feeling any differently than I was when we started. And he's like, okay, well, the fact that you're not experiencing memory loss indicates that the unilateral isn't going to be enough for you. So I um, was really interested to hear that because the fact that memory loss wasn't happening was was showing that the ECT wasn't enough or the unilateral in this case wasn't enough. So we actually switched to bilateral, um, which is where they apply it to both sides of the head. And uh, that didn't really do anything for the next couple of weeks. And so then we actually increased the energy. And that was about the point that I did start experiencing memory loss. But keep in mind, I was also starting to feel better. Uh, so I'll talk about the memory loss and what exactly happened. So it was minor. It was very minor, honestly. Um, I would forget things like if someone had told a joke uh, and I couldn't remember the joke or the punchline. Um, if someone had said something really funny or something really, um, something that should stand out in my mind because it was significant or funny, um, that didn't really stay all the time either. I would say um, what most people to have told me um, that they noticed the most was I would tell them stories and then a couple days later, later, I tell them the same story like I hadn't told it to them before. So I kind of forget stuff like that, like whether I had told someone something that happened at work or something that happened at home, I would forget that I had told them that and they'd be like, hey, Jenny, you already told me that. I'd be like, oh, whoops, my bad. Um, so stuff like that. I'd say the most significant thing um, 
which isn't even really that big of a deal. Um, I, my friend, she moved to a new apartment and it took me like three or four times to be able to remember how to get there. Thank goodness for GPS and smartphones. <laughs> Cause yeah, that was really embarrassing. Being like, Hey girl. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. I know I've been to your apartment three times already, but, uh, can you tell me how to get there or can you give me your address again? <laughs> so, um, but it really, you know, it, after like the fourth time I remembered, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't really that big of a deal. Like the, the memory loss, it was, it was not debilitating in any way. It didn't, um, it didn't change my life so much that I couldn't function. That is nowhere near what happened. It was, it was annoying. It was annoying. I'll be totally honest there. I was kind of frustrated when I couldn't remember certain things, but overall it, it didn't do that much. Um, a lot of people are afraid they're going to forget people in their lives. Like I, you know, thought maybe what if I forget who Adam is? What if I, Adam's my husband, if you haven't been watching my videos, um, what if I forget my mom, you know, what, what, like my friends, like what, what's that going to be like? That does not happen. It, it does not happen. I remembered people just fine. Maybe if I had met someone who I didn't really care to meet or wasn't really trying to remember, I would forget them. But I mean, that happens normally, like in real life without the ECT. So I wasn't too concerned about that. Um, I didn't forget how to get home. I didn't forget how to get to work. I didn't forget how to get to the doctor's office, like places that I go all the time. That was totally fine. Um, I didn't forget any significant memories, no childhood experiences. That was never an issue. Um, I didn't forget who I was. I know a lot of people are afraid of that and it, it doesn't happen. It, it wasn't debilitating, like I said, in any way. And that was, um, that was really quite a relief. Um, so I would say, okay, so what's going on now? Um, I, as, um, so I was doing the bilateral with the extra energy about once a week and we slowly started spacing that out. I'd go to once every two weeks, once every three weeks, once every month. And now I'm actually at a point where I'm going once every five weeks and the memory loss is gone. I am not experiencing any memory loss anymore. Um, so, and anything like things that might've happened during that time, are a little fuzzy, but like I said, nothing significant. Uh, it was, you know, stuff that people, like little funny things people said, or maybe a little funny event, but nothing, nothing important I, I forgot. And so um, that was such a relief. And uh, yeah, I would, a lot of people say to me, so was it worth it? Yes, yes, and yes. Oh my gosh, you guys, my life has changed. It's a complete 180. I mean, I know some of you have watched some of my first videos, and if you compare how I am in those first videos to how I am now, I mean, and in the videos, that's those were like my good days, and or when I was feeling okay. I mean, if you look at how how depressed I was, how down I was, how much I didn't care about living, and you compare it to now where I I'm excited about life. I'm motivated to do things. And the fact that I forgot a few things, it it doesn't matter. I am so much better. I am so, so much better. And I am so much happier. And it was so worth it. Um, so I hope that helps. I hope that gives you guys a little bit of an insight into what I experienced. Um, I would say from the research I've done and what the doctors have told me, I, I have a very average experience. Um, obviously if you're going to be going through the treatment or are going through the treatment, talk to your doctor about it and, um, kind of gauge where you're at. Um, but I want to tell you that for me, the memory loss, it wasn't significant in any way. Uh, so if I missed any questions that you guys have, please feel free to shoot me an email, Jenny's ECT Diary at gmail.com. Comment on this video, uh, comment on my Facebook page, let me know. And if I get enough questions, maybe I'll make a part two, because who knows, I could have missed things. So um, I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, 
and I hope that this is helpful. Thanks so much, you guys, and I'll talk with you soon, okay? Bye.